What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, so I'm back, and honestly, I'm almost to the point, like, I'm not crying, but I'm to that point of, believe it or not, I'm to the point of wanting to give up on music, and for a very good reason. Not because I want to, believe me, I don't want to give up on music. Honestly, this discrimination against me has got to stop. Now, if you guys don't know what's going on, I've been looking around Facebook for, you know, a paying rec like a record label that will, you know, help get my music out there. Because as you guys know, I have a certain sound to my music that I cannot put on a muse. They will not let me do it for whatever fucking reason. Like, you know, a lot of you guys do enjoy my music, and I appreciate the fuck out of that. Like, more than you guys know, I appreciate that. But it seems like every fucking time I try to put my music out there and get signed to a professional label that is willing to pay, instead of taking me on, you know what they do? They sit there and they fucking laugh at me. Not just because of my style and my sound, but because of my physical appearance. They don't think that I can make it because of my fucking appearance. Like, I don't give a fuck about my appearances. Appearances are secondary to sound. Yeah, I get that you have to have a certain look about you, and I get that. I, I get that, but you know what? Looks... And the end of it all, looks should not mean a fucking thing when it comes to fucking music. I'm fucking tired of you record labels constantly bashing on me for no fucking reason except the fact that I look different than everyone else. Every fucking time I put out a fucking demo and send it to you guys, you guys like it, but you hate my appearance. And I'm fucking tired of it. You know, I have dealt with discrimination in schools. I've dealt with being bullied growing up my entire life. But to be discriminated and bashed on against in the one career that I actually have a shot in, that everybody knows I have a shot in, that ain't right. I'm tired of the bullshit. I have fought way harder than any motherfucking body else out there in the world. And I can fucking prove it. Because of my physical appearance, I have had to fight twice as hard, twice as much, and do double the work just to get a fraction of where half your fucking bullshit mainstream artists are at. I've had to work my ass off, sleepless nights, sleepless days, going on two, three hours of fucking sleep at a time in a fucking week, busting my ass. Every fucking day I bust my ass. Yeah, I'm not always recording. Yeah, I'm not always writing songs, but you know what? I'm always coming up with something. I'm always doing something music-wise. I'm always, you know, if I'm not writing songs, or recording a song, I'm usually, you know, recording a music video or getting stuff ready for another song. Or coming up with an idea. Or looking for inspiration for a new song. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of being discriminated against for no fucking reason. And yeah, it is a reason, but it's a stupid, petty fucking reason. And a little something that a lot of you fucking record labels may not know. Is that I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Because when I was born, I was supposed to die. I was born one pound ten ounces. With one kidney and one and a half lungs. So every fucking day is a fight for my life. Every fucking day, I wake up, I stare death in the face, and I say, fuck you, I'm not dying. I'm living another day to help that one person that fucking needs it. I'm living another day for my family, for my friends, for those that mean something to me. I'm living for them.
Because those are the people that drive me to do the songs that I do. I don't make music just to make money. I make music to help people because I know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide. I know what it's like to be depressed. I know what it's like to feel so low that you don't want to be on this earth anymore. I've been there. I know what it's like to watch your drunk piece of shit dad waste his life away. I know what it's like to watch your best friend stab you in the back and then take the girl that you love. I know what that's like because I lived through that. And I still live through some of that shit every day. So you guys really don't understand where I come from with my music. And that's fine if you don't get it. I understand that if you guys, you know, if you don't understand where I'm coming from with my songs, that's fine. But it's not your job to question where I come from with my songs. Your job is to sign talented artists and help get them somewhere so they can start making a living doing what they're good at. That's your fucking job. It shouldn't be about looks. It should be about the music, the song. That's what it should fucking be about. You know, every day I send out hundreds of demos to record labels. Every day. From the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I'm always sending out demos to different record labels all over the world. And I mean all over the world. Even, you know, independent labels I've been looking up, I've been looking up. You know, labels overseas that can pay me from there to here. I've been looking for, you know, special needs labels. But what happens, every single one of them either turns me down by saying that I suck, by saying that I'm in the wrong field, and some just don't even reply, which is their way of saying, fuck you. You know, I have hundreds of people telling me every day that I deserve to be signed, that I deserve to be making it. And you know, maybe if you guys would shut your fucking mouths and open up your fucking ears, and listen to what my fans have to say. Maybe then you'll start realizing that I'm just exactly what this industry needs. Because, you know, unlike your bullshit fucking rappers that are out there every day talking about gangs, drugs, and drive-bys, what am I doing? I'm sitting here writing songs about anti-bullying, about suicide, trying to save someone's life. So what's more important to you? The fucking gang drugs bullshit? Or somebody putting out a real song that has real meaning behind it that could possibly save someone's life from ending their own life that very day? I can't tell you the amount of messages that I've gotten from people, especially on number one music and on Star Maker, they're telling me that not only the covers that I do, but the songs that I write have helped them and have saved their fucking lives. Every day I get messages like that. Every fucking day. And some of them, I even, if you guys pay attention to my social media at all, a lot of them I post up because I'm proud of those messages. I'm proud to get those. I'm proud to know that my music helps someone get through the night and helps keep them from ending their own life and allows them to try to help you know, someone else. This discrimination amongst the music artists and amongst the labels, it's got to stop. Because if we don't stop the discrimination now, what artists are you going to have left? What bands are you going to have left that are actually talented, that actually have skill? Yeah, I not only do rock and stuff like that, but I also do EDM and dubstep. Take a look at my shit. You can find it on Google Play. Look up my album. Look up Shadow Blades Blackout and Evolution. You'll find my shit on there. But having my stuff up there doesn't mean a motherfucking thing to me at all. Yeah, it's nice to have it up there, but that don't mean shit to me. What means something to me is saving someone's life through my music. 
I could give a fuck about what you assholes think of me. You know, you guys sit there and say that I look weird or whatever, and that's that's fine. But it's your job as a talent scout record label to not judge. You shouldn't judge by appearance. You should start judging by the person's music. Do you know how many fucking people I've had telling me alone that just my one song, Another Day Is Over, sounds like something from Queen of the Damned? I've had several people comparing that to Queen of the Damned. The music video, the song, everything. And you know what? I'm proud to say that it, uh, that I did draw some inspiration from that movie. You know, I'm a huge fan of that movie. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's fucking amazing. But you know, I did kind of draw from that a little bit. And I'm not afraid to admit that. I'm not afraid to admit that I have a corn style sound in my music. I'm not afraid to admit that I use guys like Chester and Mitch and the guys from Corn and Slipknot and Avenged Sevenfold and all these other bands to inspire me and to keep me going. But for you to sit there and judge me, who the fuck are you to do that? You're not God. So y'all need to stop pretending that you are. Because you ain't a god. You ain't got the right to judge. The only thing you do have the right to judge is someone's music. That's all you have the right to do. And when so many talented comes along like myself or like any of my friends, what do you do? You show us to the side like we don't even fucking matter. Like you're god. Like you have the right to do that. Like it's your god-given right. To judge us based on our looks and not our music. And that's fucked up. Because let me tell you something. I have worked harder than any fucking music artist out there. And I have tons of people to prove it too. I have hundreds of people that can prove it. And show you that I have worked my ass off. Harder than any fucking music artist out there. And for you to sit there and judge me based off my looks. Instead of my hard work. Do you have any idea how fucked up that is? I mean, I've dealt with discrimination in high schools. Because of discrimination, I didn't get my high school diploma. I wasn't able to graduate. And around here, you have to pay for your GED, which sucks. So I'm not able to get my GED like I would like to. And because of discrimination, I lost out on a very, very, very hard-earned opportunity for a very high-end college, which is Musicians Institute out in California. I was supposed to go there and become a professional through them. I was supposed to learn how to, what to do and stuff like that. I was going to go out there and go to college out there strictly for music. And if you guys don't believe the actual college, they don't deal, they don't do like normal, you know, colleges do. This is a... This is a college built strictly for the arts, for music, for videography, for film. And I had the opportunity, and I'd gotten my acceptance letter to go there. I had just gotten my acceptance letter to go to MU. I literally just got my acceptance letter to go to MI. And yet, what happened? I had to turn around that very next week. And call the headmaster there and let him know that I wouldn't be able to make it because of the fact that my fucking principal is a racist, discriminating little bitch who felt like black people deserved more of a chance to graduate than white people. Which isn't fair at all. So yeah, I never got the opportunity to graduate. I didn't get to cross the stage with my class. I didn't get to go to the college that I wanted to, but you know what? I didn't let that stop me. I picked my ass back up off that ground when I got thrown down. I picked my ass up, and I learned everything I know now about music, about video, about photography, about art. And yet, what do I get for all that hard work? 
and busting my ass, I get nowhere. Because everybody wants to fucking discriminate against me and take from me. Nobody wants to give me a fair shot at anything. Nobody wants to give me a real fair shot to make real money doing anything that I'm good at. Whether it be music, whether it be artwork, whether it be, you know, photography, video work, it don't fucking matter. Why? Because everybody else thinks that I don't deserve it. When I worked harder than anyone to get to where I'm at. Can I tell you something? While everybody else is asleep at night, I'm either working on artwork, recording, writing, or working on a music video or shooting, filming an idea or trailer for a movie I might be working on. Every day I am studying everything that I know. But yeah, what do I get for all my hard work? I get nowhere. I've even got guys like Jason David Frank, who is the original Green Power Ranger from Power Rangers. Him and his family even enjoy my work. You guys have seen the post. I even had somebody print it out and send it to me a while back, who I still don't know who it was. But do you have any idea how much of an accomplishment that is for somebody like me, who came up poor, broke, not having hardly anything? Do you know what that's like to have one of your childhood idols, you know, respect your work and enjoy your work and follow your work and become a fan of it? Do you have any idea how much of a dream come true that is for me? Let alone being able to say that I've worked with guys like Julian Solano and from Nightcore. Do you have any idea how huge of an accomplishment that is for anyone? There's not many out there that can say that they've worked with the man. Not many can say that they know the godfather of the DJing world, Ray Del Battle, either. And I talk to that man every day. He's a huge fan of my work, just like I am of his. But yeah, what do I get for all my accomplishments? I get shit on and stolen from. Because people want to sit there and discriminate. Not just against my music, but against everything. They want to tear me down and break me. Well, I'm here to tell you this right the fuck now. You guys can tear me down. You guys can beat me. You guys can bash on me and do whatever the fuck you want to do to me. But in the end of it all, one thing you don't realize that makes me more dangerous than any motherfucking body on social media is that unlike everyone else, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose, which makes me a lot more dangerous. Because when you have nothing to lose, you're more willing to go the distance and do shit that most wouldn't do. So you guys can talk shit about my career. You guys can push me down, beat me all you want. But you know what? Every time you do, I'm just going to get right the fuck back up. I'm going to get right the fuck back up and call you little bitches out. And I'm going to keep swinging. And... When I'm swinging, I don't give a fuck if I get knocked down. Because you know what? I'm going to keep swinging for the fucking fences or I'm going to fucking die swinging taking you fuckers out. I don't give a fuck either way. But this discrimination bullshit has got to stop. It's got to stop with me. It's got to stop with every motherfucking artist out there that you judge. That you fucking put down. And with anybody that any, anybody out there is getting put down. Stop letting these guys fucking get to you. Stand up for yourself. Start fighting back. Because I guarantee you, you start fighting back, they will back the fuck up and they will shut their mouths. So I say this not only to every fucking record label who is bashed on me. I say this to every motherfucking person out there who has bullied me or someone who like me every day. You guys are worthless pieces of shit. You guys do not deserve to be in the field that you guys are in. Whether it be music, whether it be art, whether it be film, photography, just because you guys walk around your fucking high-end diplomas thinking that you're big shots, that don't make you a big shot. 
Just because you got a fucking diploma in that subject, that don't mean shit. It's a piece of paper. That's all that fucking is. It's a piece of fucking paper. And this is the one situation I've run into hundreds of times throughout my career. Is these little college motherfuckers act like they know something. Just because they graduated college and got their degree in this and that, they think that they know everything. And then somebody like me comes along and proves them wrong. And shuts them up and shows them that they have that we have more skill. Somebody like me comes along and shows them that they have more skill. And yet, what does that dude do? Oh, this is how you did it and blah, blah, blah. You probably paid for it. Dude, I didn't pay for nothing. When it comes to the stuff that I learned how to do, I didn't pay for no classes, nothing. I learned everything I know since day one on my own. I've studied and busted my ass studying. Like I proved in a couple videos back, you give me a DSLR camera, let me mess with it for about, a, about two or three days, I can tell you what every motherfucking thing on that camera does and hand it right back to you and be like, hey, here you go. Shoot a video in monochrome with dark lighting. Guarantee you half the motherfuckers won't know what the fuck I'm talking about. If you guys don't know what monochrome is, it's actually another word for black and white. When it comes to like video and photography, that's literally another term for black and white. Half these motherfuckers don't know how to shoot a video in the dark using just a couple of strobe lights. They don't know how to do that shit. And yeah, I can do that shit and I make it look good. And I've done it. Take a look at my video for another day is over. I use my Xbox One monitor and my Chromebook monitor and I just put strobe lights on them on YouTube. That's all I did. You know, I got a lot more skills than most realize, you know. And honestly, I'm tired of those skills being taken for granted. You know, I can put together a website. I can build apps on my own. You know, I can translate different languages. I can do all kinds of stuff. Granted, I have to go through Google Translate to do it, but nonetheless, it's all the same. Plus, you know, I can make YouTube intros. I can do, you know, video editing. I can make movies. I can shoot music videos. I can do photography. Hell, I can fucking draw and paint. And yet, what do I get for all my skills? I get absolutely nowhere. Because all people want to do is discriminate against me for no fucking reason. But the fact that I look weird. When all I'm trying to do is make money and make a living doing one of doing anything that I'm good at. And yet I get laughed at because I'm not super high end. Well, here's a fucking lesson to you. High end isn't always the best. High end this and high end that ain't always the best. Sometimes it takes a downgrade to make that upgrade look good. Sometimes it takes something simple to make something advanced stand out and look good. But yet, all you guys want to do is think get rich quick. You don't want to think business smart. See, I think business smart. When it comes to selling, you know, like let's say my beats. $10 for 10 beats. Simple, easy to use. Simple, easy loop back beats. Or say my Rage On shop, my custom clothing shop. $15 to $25 for a t shirt, 80 bucks for custom shoes. When anywhere else you're looking at 150 plus for custom shoes. 
and I only charge $80. $80 is not bad at all. And yet, what do I get for everything that I know how to do? I get shit on. And everybody wonders why I don't have a job. This is exactly why. Because nobody's willing to give me a chance or cut me a break to give me a very real shot at doing something that I can actually prove myself worth that, that I can actually prove that I can do. You give me all the links to any of your social media, I can make you a fucking website within one to two hours that's simple, easy to use, and it looks clean. And it's easy to navigate around. You send me all the links to whatever it is you have, like whether it's art, music, or whatever, within one to two hours, maybe even 10 minutes, depending on how my computer wants to work, I can make a full-on fucking mobile app and then send, I can turn around and make that app, send you the download for it, and you can download it right there onto your phone, and it will be self-updated. And yeah, what do I get for all that? I don't get anywhere. Like I said, everybody wonders why I'm not making any money doing anything. This is why. Because of the discrimination and nobody is really wanting to give me a fair chance. Because instead of judging me about what I can do now, they all want to judge me by my past and the shit that I've gone through. And that's not right. Stop judging me by my fucking past and take a look at what I'm able to do. Take a look at the very real skills that I can do. Hell, you want to shoot a music video? Let me know when and where. 50 bucks a music video. Or no, 30 bucks a music video, 50 for a full on one to two hour photo shoot. Not that bad. Anywhere else you're looking at about a hundred. And yet nobody wants to do things right. They all want to steal from me. They all want to take from me. And honestly, I'm tired of being taken from. I'm honestly sick and tired of everyone fucking taking from me. I'm not willing to fucking help. I reached out for help several, several, several times. Many a times I've reached out for help. Every time just when I think I'm about to make a little bit of money and start making a name for myself, doing something I don't get at, somebody else comes along and that person takes their deal over mine. Just because they have a little bit better. Like, it's It's stupid. Like, when am I going to give my shot? Why not give the little guy a shot? Why not give the one guy that works his ass off a shot? Stop getting these lazy-ass motherfuckers out there who don't do a goddamn thing, who don't work for a living a shot. Me, I work for a living. I own a custom clothing shop on top of my music. And yet, what do I get for all my hard work? I get shit on. And the only reason why I don't withdraw my money from the shop that I go through on Rage On is because I have to have $50 or more to withdraw, which I can understand that. I can kind of understand it. They want to make sure that I'm doing good. And I get that. But at the same time, how am I going to make money now? How am I going to make a living doing anything I'm good at if y'all motherfuckers keep on taking from me and stealing from me? See, y'all little bitches think you know the game, like you know everything. Motherfuckers, I've been doing this shit longer than most of y'all motherfuckers have been alive. Alright, I'm 28 now. I started this shit when I was 18. I I started building websites back in fucking high school during my freshman year. I took computer classes. You know, I started taking, you know, computer classes back in high school. And from there, I learned and taught myself how to make, you know, professional looking websites. Been doing it for years. 
But yet, what do I get done every time I try to offer my skills and my services? I get shit on. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of being discriminated against. And I'm even more tired of being taken advantage of. Like, you know, I bust my ass every fucking day. Doing shit that I'm good at. In hopes that I can actually make a job out of one of these skills. And yet, I get shit on every day. Just because I don't have a diploma or I'm not very well known. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get well known? And here's my thing on it. How am I supposed to get any kind of experience or get well known if nobody's willing to give me a chance? I, it, it makes no sense. I can't just sit there and do it on my own. I don't have that luxury. I mean, I'm not rich. I don't have the luxury of going out and doing shit on my own and making billions of dollars in a day. I don't have that luxury. All I'm asking for is a fair chance to make real money doing something that I'm good at. That's all I'm asking. Is for a very real job doing something that I can actually do, that I am actually good at, that I already know how to do better than most. Is that so hard to ask for a job for creating album cover art or creating a YouTube intro or something? Like, dude, you give me give me about an hour, I can pump out a badass fucking YouTube intro that you'll enjoy. Just give me the creativity, you know, the creative leeway, and I can pump out something super dope. Easily. Hell, you want a fucking YouTube intro with your picture on it? So in the picture, I'll turn that shit into a fucking beastie-ass fucking trap-ridden fucking YouTube intro. And yet, everything I know how to do gets pushed to the side just because people want to discriminate against me. And it honestly, it's sickening. It's sickening because you motherfuckers think get rich quick. You think that just because you got loads of money that you can go around judging people, that that gives you the right. But that doesn't give you the right. Like I said, you're not God. So what the fuck gives you the right to judge people for their physical appearance or anything? What gives you that right? I don't judge you at all. So why judge me? I don't get it. I don't fucking understand. You guys sit there and you play God thinking that you have the right to judge so many others when you yourself do not have that right. That is not your God-given right to judge. What is your God-given right, though, is to treat others with respect. Like I said, I don't judge you. So why judge me? Why judge others like me? Just because I look a little bit different? Just because I'm 28 years old and I don't have any fucking hair on my head except from the sides? Just because I fucking rock a goddamn rocker-style beanie and a fucking car... A fucking Colin McRae rally racing hoodie. Just because I'm a fucking rocker and not a bullshit rapper. That gives you the right to fucking judge. Nah. Because all of something that you don't know is that yes, I do rap. I do do rock. I do do metal. I do classical. I do fucking damn near every style. The only kind I don't do is opera or so like that. That one is above my... Above... What I'm able to do, but I do fuck with jazz every now and then as well. Fucking, you know, Louis Armstrong, Bobby Brown. I fuck with those guys. I fuck with classic stuff like that. You know, I fuck with the 80s music. I fuck with 90s music. Hell, I'm not a fucking shame to say that I still listen to Backstreet Boys. I grew up on those guys. And they're still doing music. Still. You know, and I do keep up with them, you know, because that's a that's a group that I grew up listening to as a kid. 
I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed. They're afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to say that, you know, I've listened to, you know, groups and bands and artists like Avril Lavigne or Nickelback or anything like that. Like I said, those are bands that I grew up on, like bands like Crossfade, Evanescence, Linkin Park, Disturbed, um, the Linkin Park back before they were Linkin Park, which is Hybrid Theory. I fucked with Hybrid Theory back in the day, man. I fucked with Lincoln Park back in the day, and I even rocked their new album that they dropped just before Chester and Pass, too. I'm, I like that album, man. One More Light was a very good album. And I mean very good. And, you know, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I fucked with both ICP and Twisted. I don't rock just one side. I rock both sides. All right. I fuck with Magic Ninja Entertainment and Psychopathic Records. The beef between those two are done. So this beef bullshit of choosing sides that y'all got going, that shit needs to stop. Like I said, just because Twisted didn't go to the march, you know, just because they didn't show up at the Juggalo march and do their thing, that shouldn't matter. Yeah, I know y'all felt like, you know, they kind of betrayed you and I get that. But they came back and they redeemed themselves. They ex- they explained the reason why. And yet y'all want to ignore it and still sit there and say that they're traitors? No, they're not. They came back and they explained themselves. They told y'all why they didn't go to the Juggalo March. And it was for a very good reason. And yet y'all don't want to accept that. And that, that is what it is. But y'all need to let that bullshit division crap between the family go. Because not only are not only is that giving us a bad name, but so is you know the bullshit of you know us being treated like a gang and not a music family. And this is a prime example of what the government does when it comes to that. Now I know a lot of y'all are gonna probably bitch at me about this, but I'm speaking the fucking truth on this. Calling the Juggalos a gang is like calling the Black Veil Brides Army or the Lincoln Park Soldiers a gang. That's like calling Skillet fans, also known as Panheads. You know, that's like calling them a gang. That's like calling the Five Finger Death Punch Army a gang. That's like calling the Suicide Silence fans a gang. We're not a gang. You know, we just happen to like the same music. So what if it's dark? Some people are into that shit. I know I fuck with a few dark songs every now and then. You know, every now and then I'll throw on a little bit of ABK or Boondocks or Blaze or whatever. But for y'all to judge, it's it's stupid and it needs to stop. 